Hi, I'm Christian Ferno with Razor Gauge. Today we're going to be demoing the RG3 software. This is the latest version of the Razor Gauge software since we've changed over from the M drive to a new Yaskawa positioner. Um, so when you first open up the software, what you're going to see is stop mode. With stop mode, that's going to be using it as a stop with your saw. So whatever position that you put in here is the, is the distance from your saw blade. So if I were to want to cut a 12-inch uh, part, I would put in 12 and then go. We also have these fraction keys down here in 1 32nd increments. So anything from 1 32nd to 31 32nds you can put in without having to think about it. So if I wanted to go 12 and 11 sixteenths, I'd just tap the 11 sixteenths fraction key and it would move to 12 and 11 sixteenths. So that's going to be a majority of the use if you're using it as a stopper or a stop in stop mode. So then we also offer auto list. Um, auto list can be used in stop mode or in pusher mode and also allows you to use a label printer with it. Um, it also lets you do stacking. So if you wanted to do multiple rows of material, you would put in a quantity here and say how many sticks you're running for the run. So for me, it'd be one. And then you would put in a bar length here, and you'd hit fit parts and load out. I already have my cut list open. You, would, of course, would select the cut list that you would want to use. And you see here on this graphic that it's loaded out and optimized that board for that length. And then I would just hit run. Um, for this purpose, we're not going to run the saw right now. And then every time you cycle the saw, if you have uh, interface with the machine, then it would decrement and continue on with the run. Um, so the next thing we're going to go over is our preset screen. So with this screen, what you can do is just set a length that you're going to use a lot. So like, let's say like left style here make a lot of those and you don't want to put in that number every single time that you want to make that cut so you just place however many offsets you want you can add as many as you'd like and then you just press the button to move it to that position so like left style and then i have top rail here and it'll move to that position and i can just start making my cuts using it as a stop the next one is an offset so the offsets feature allows you to add multiple tools onto the razor gauge. So if you say, have a saw here and then a drill press on the other side and you want the gauge to be functional for both, you would put in an offset for the distance to that drill press and then you would select it. And now um, when I put it in a position, so 12 inches, it's now 24 inches from the blade really because the drill press in theory the way it's set up right now is right here. So then we'll go back to no offset and we have list mode. So this is for simple lists. You can create them easily. Uh, you just hit create new list and then you put in length, quantity, material, and description and hit add. You don't have to add a material or description and then you just add your parts and then you can save and open and then you can select it and it'll move to that distance. This is the stop mode version of the list. So next up, with the ST compared to the XT, you also have pusher mode, where this can be used as a pusher for a run rather than as a stop. So if we go over to pusher mode here, we have list and repeating pattern. So for list, we can open up cut list. I have an example I made up and you can select whether or not you'd like to optimize and your stacking here. The, those two features are only available if you purchase the auto list option with your machine. Um, you have a start trim and an end trim and a stock length. So the stock length is the length of your board. The start trim is how much it cuts off at the start of the board. The end trim is how much waste you have at the end of the board. Um, not everybody uses an end trim, but it's available if you want to use it. So then you would hit go. This is an unoptimized list. And as for this, you would hit load out. At this point, you would load your board into the machine right here. 
put it against the stop and hit run. And then it'll move to the first position and wait for the saw to cycle. And so then every time you cycle a saw, it'll move to the next position and so on and so forth. This does take into account for the saw kerf. So that is another setting that you would have to calibrate and make sure it's correct. So if you were to change a saw blade or something, that needs to be checked in between or your parts may end up starting to be off. Um, then we have repeating pattern. This is if you're running a lot of the exact same length material and want to just make a lot of the same cuts out of that material. So we can create a new repeating pattern file. For this, I'm saying a stock length of 80, load position of 85. That's how far back behind the board it'll move when you do this, and then the lead trim. So you hit start, and then you enter different part lengths. So like 12 inch part, it adds it, puts it on the board. And then six inch part, add it, add it, add it, add it. And then four, we'll just add some four inch parts as well. All right, so you have 12 inch, three six inch, and the rest four inch parts. Now I'd hit save and open, and I will name it here. Doesn't really matter what you name it, but you would name it based on how you manage your files. Um, and then once you've opened it, you'll hit load. And then run. And then the same thing, cycle the saw to get it to continue in the run. And then once you're done here, you can, well, that's really about it with the RG3 software.